to thank the Almighty for you. I would like to thank the Almighty and you especially for supporting the women. Sir, a woman stands for love and peace. On behalf of the UPDF and the other security agencies that participated in the security of NAM and G77 and eager in between there to welcome you and incidentally you're the one hosting us but to welcome you amid us, amidst us allow me also uh, to thank you for hosting the joint security agencies to a sumptuous meal in line with appreciating the joint security forces for delivering successfully a secure and event free environment that enabled Uganda to host NAM, IGAD, G77, and China summits without a single event of a security nature. By 1900, you must put all these things in a, a context. You must understand them well. By 1900, the whole of Africa had been colonized, except for Ethiopia. And for Africa, we had gone through 400 years of slave trade. It was not only Africa which was colonized, even much of Asia was either in colonies or same colony like China. China was not fully colonized, but it was like a same colony. So therefore, the big group you, see, you saw here, this is potentially a very powerful group. As you heard, the countries were 120, if you add group of 77 plus China, the population of these countries is 6.6 .6 billion people. Eighty percent of the human population are here. So therefore, you should understand the importance of these meetings. These, these countries are the liberated slaves. The countries which had been enslaved but have now been liberated and they are the majority of the human race, and they were all here. So, and so the, therefore, it's a big honor for them to come here, first of all, for us, it's a big honor, but also a big opportunity. We have nothing against the other countries who are not part of this. 
after we wa want to work with them. But they should respect our, our, uh, our views. They should not come and... Uh, let me also congratulate our forces upon having had this summit successfully concluded without any event. I believe you must have been on your tentacles until when you saw the last guest out of this country. Congratulations. I'd like also to congratulate you upon a very, very successful organization for these conferences. The reports we get from the visitors, those who were here, they are full of praises, one on the organization, and secondly, the hospitality that they received while here. Your Excellency, allow me on behalf of the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs and the UPDF Flatante and on my own behalf to welcome you here and singularly thank you, sir, for finding time and finding it befitting to grant us this rare auspicious occasion. When we are when we are recognized, sir, and our services get appreciated in such a way by none other than you, Your Excellency, and the Commander-in-Chief, it is a morale booster for everybody. Let me take this opportunity to thank everybody here, especially our team in uniform, and those who are not in uniform for the job well done.